It can be very overwhelming for a child and their family to come to the hospital for the first time. They are coming into a new environment, they're meeting a lot more staff, and so it can just be an information overload. And so our goal is to really orient them and to let them know what their realistic expectations are so that there aren't any surprises for the day. A child life specialist has a background in child development, stress and coping theory, play theory, language, and death and dying. Um, all child life specialists have their bachelor's degree, however, many also have their graduate degree. Our focus is to promote positive coping skills in the hospital setting, as well as reducing stress and anxiety that potentially can come about while they're here. Every day looks a little bit different. We are everywhere the kids are, and we also provide support to children of adult patients across the hospital. And then what we will do is think about interventions that would help them understand their diagnosis, prepare them for procedures, and to just help them understand their treatment plan. And we really like to involve the family in that so that they know how to advocate for themselves and kind of navigate this experience a little bit easier. Very good, he takes his medicine. We also provide normalization and play opportunities. We are firm believers that even if there's a child or a teen that's a patient, they should still be able to have experiences that they would outside of the hospital setting as well. So we provide any type of play activities, toys, we have video game systems. So just to kind of make the day a little bit easier while they're here. Research shows that with child life support, and that includes preparation, diagnosis, education, really making the child and teenager and family understand what to expect. This helps reduce misconceptions and promotes a more positive medical journey that they'll have here.